Hey percussion fans, it's me, Max, with Gongs Unlimited and Unlimited Singing Bowls, and I'm here with part two of a pair of videos that we're doing. The first part was the Circle of Fifths, uh, and in that video we explore the concept of the Circle of Fifths, I explain how it works, um, the 12 chromatic keys of music, um, the scales, the modes therein. Watch that video to learn a little bit more about that. Today, what we're doing is we're connecting the sort of grounded physical concept of the circle of fifths with a more spiritual concept um, tied to the zodiac. Um, now, the basis for this comes uh, from Rudolf Steiner, who's an anthrosophist of the mid 20th century. Um, you may know him as the founder of the Waldorf schools. Um, it's a type of charter school with a certain uh, teaching philosophy. Anyway, we won't get too deep into it, but he came up with this concept that tied the circle of fifths with the wheel of the zodiac. And that's what we're going to explore here today with this bowl set. We're calling it the Aquarius set because it corresponds to the key that Aquarius corresponds to, according to uh, Rudolf Steiner's work. So the way that he does it is Aries is the first sign of the wheel of the zodiac, and uh, the key of C major is the first key on the wheel of the circle of fifths. So if you work around the circle of fifths uh, and also around the wheel of the zodiac in progressing order, you assign each fifth around the circle to one of the signs. So you start with the key of C major with the sign of Aries, um, and that so that, that key has no sharps or flats, and you work around the circle. For this set, the Aquarius set, it corresponds to the key of B flat major. Um, that key has two flats, and everything else is natural, so on a piano, that would mean that two of the keys in the scale are black keys. And it sounds like this. It starts with B flat, then we go up to C, D, E flat, F, G, and A. Now, because we're limited by the bowls that we have in stock, um, these two top notes in the scale, we had to go with lower octaves. Ideally, if you're building a set yourself, you'd want it to start with the root note B flat and go up progressively, and this would be uh, a G in the fourth octave and an A in the fourth octave. We didn't have that, so we're going with G and A in the third octave. The important part here is that you get notes that are in the same key. Um, now, what we talked about in our last video with modes, the different modes, which is where you start on a different note in that same scale, um, those are going to determine different sort of expressions, um, different ways of expressing um, the tonalities within that um, scale. So, if we had a G and an A that were in the fourth octave, it would sound a little bit different, um, but because we're going up through the scale and then we jump back down to a lower octave, it sounds a little bit different and expresses a little bit differently. Um, if we were playing them in order, it would sound like this with the lowest note. And technically, if we were, if we wanted to explore modes a little bit more, this would be played, we would be playing it in the sixth mode because it starts on the sixth note. Um, that's also known as the Aeolian scale. Um, all of this will be explained in a blog, um, but in this way, you can build a bowl set using notes that correspond maybe to your, uh, your birth month, or maybe you wanna build a set that you're gonna be playing on a specific um, astrological event, so maybe, um, we just had the full moon in uh, Aquarius recently, which only happens once or twice a year. Um, so maybe you're planning some sort of sound healing event or a sound bath around the Aquarius full moon, 
and you want something that sort of matches spiritually, energetically, um, something that you can kind of connect a grounded musical set, connect the notes to a more spiritual concept like a full moon in Aquarius. This is a great way to do that. You can do it with more than just Aquarius. You can do it with any of the keys and any of the signs. We hope that this video will uh, be a good starting point for you to be able to either build your own set or explore some other sets that we will eventually be building um, that go with this Aquarius Zodiac Tone Circle concept. Um, but for right now, I'll just play a little bit of this, the Aquarius set, so you can have an understanding. Uh, again, this is in the key of B flat major. You could also call it G minor. Um, that's the relative minor um, if you're playing it in the um, sixth mode. That's the, the, the sixth mode is also known as the relative minor scale. Um, so let's say you wanted to build a Gemini set. You could do the same thing. Uh, that one has an F sharp and a C sharp and the rest of the notes are naturals. Um, and you could build that in any configuration and it would still sort of tap into that unique character of those seven notes. Um, and like I said, the different modes, the different arrangements of which order the notes are in will sort of um, give you a different sort of color to that key. But this is the Aquarius set. Uh, it's in the key of B flat major and I'll just play it for a little while. So there you go, that's the sound of Aquarius. This set technically, I realized while I was playing it, it's technically in what we would call G minor, which is the relative minor of B flat major. Um, so it's just a different mode of that same seven notes. So you can actually pick up this set while it lasts. 
Uh, it's going to be called the Aquarius set. It is, like I said, it's in G minor or B flat major, depending on how you play it, how you align it. Um, and we hope you enjoy it, and we hope this sort of opens up possibilities for you if you're building your own sets from individual bowls, or if you um, want a sort of intention or energy to put behind a set that you're building. So, enjoy. Mm -hmm.